The first child is Abena. Her mother has told Jackie that she is a picky eater. Have you ever had those before? No. Jackie is interested in why there are ones she doesn't like. Which one of those um, do you think looks the most yummy? That. That one looks the most yummy. Why? Oh my God, that's because I've tasted them before. And oh. Faced with some unfamiliar sights, Abena follows her instincts. Instincts we're all born with and go straight for something sweet. Babies very, very early in life have this preference for sweeter tastes, not surprisingly because the, the taste of milk is, is, is sweet. High levels of sweetness, fattiness, all of these things indicate good calorie sources. And then if you had to choose another really yummy one, the figs. Try it. Mm. The sweet tastes go first, so now her choice becomes more difficult. I don't like sprouts. Um, start there. Again, Abena's instincts cut in. She's wary of bitter. Things like this, it looks all like... We are all programmed, really, to avoid uh, bitter tastes wherever we can. They might be poisonous, there might be high levels of toxin. So bitter tastes are often very problematic for parents in particular to introduce to their children. I don't like them. They're all squashed. And... Oh, squashed. So far, Abena is reacting as nature has programmed her to do. She's drawn to sweet and tries to avoid bitter. But now, another influence starts to exert itself, her own experience. Which one do you think looks the most yummy now? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's difficult. Sprouts, because I've tasted them before. Sprouts. Do you want to try it? Mm -hmm. They're all right. She thinks she's chosen the least worst option. But then something telling happened. This time, the sprout she thought she hated tasted fine. Oh, that's interesting. Because she'd been exposed to the vegetable before, it overcame her intrinsic dislike of bitter. When you see something like vegetables, children are going to have to have a number of exposures to those vegetables to find them familiar, to have tasted them often enough to have acquired a reasonable preference for them. So there isn't a magic uh, overnight effect it is often a long process of gradually learning to like the tastes that are particularly innately preferred. And this is the key to how we all develop our tastes. We develop a liking if we keep tasting it. Children are around two or three years old, if they're relatively fussy eaters, those patterns track through childhood and into adulthood. So it's absolutely important, really, really important, that dietary range is as broad as it can be before those children reach that kind of age. What about this one? What about the lychee? Have you tried that one before? But there's another surprise that may explain why you like some rather strong tastes, even when you're tiny. A mother is consuming um, a large amount of something like garlic when she's pregnant. We know that that, um, uh, that uh, flavor passes into the amniotic fluid. And some research has shown that babies who are exposed to some specific flavors in utero actually continue to show preferences for those flavors later. 